hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the air and cell twin. It's configured as a single right now. It's got 15 plates, 3 by 6. They're spaced a eighth of an inch apart. We're going to run full voltage through here. And then I'm going to try a different test on it. First, the full voltage. It's running at 20 amps. I'm getting ready to fix the top on this so we can measure the amount of gas it puts out. As you can see, 20 amps is uh, quite sufficient. Let it cool down here a second. Measuring the voltage, the voltage is 1193. <coughs> give it, let's take a closer look at this. Now we're on. Now we're off. Still, see it's still producing a slight bit here. What I do is take a look at the bottom of it. I'm going to turn it on again here. It's on. And as you can see, there's nothing coming out the sides. Let it cool down a bit. What I do is try to get a real close look at this. Okay, we're going to turn it on again. Turn it off. At 20 amps, these cells are producing considerable amount of hydrogen. What I have to do is hook up a top to this, which I don't have at the present time. Now we're going to take a look at the very top here. See, 
if we can see where everything is happening. The idea, of course, is to get as much data as you can. All right, you can see we're still producing here. Power's off. Remember, even when you turn off the power with a switch, there's residual voltage going through the switch. Almost all switches have that, so this could be strictly trickle through. All right, I'm going to turn it on here again. First, let's see if I can get even closer. That's about as close. Okay, we're going to turn it on. And off. This is two gallons of distilled water. What I'm going to do is back it off a bit here. So you can see the whole unit. as I can get. And there's the top. And we're just even there. I'll turn it on. We're at 16 amps. Turn it off here. This is the <coughs> this is the Aaron Cell twin. As I said, we're only using it as a single. That means both sides are connected together. This is using lye and distilled water. What I'm going to do next is do an experiment with two large plates on the side and two small plates in the center. I'm not using any pulse with this system. This is straight battery. In case you're interested, here's my pulse system. <laughs> 